time to do a review on my garden as you see here got some zucchini zucchini looking good this is uh butter beans they're looking a little weak right now uh we've had some unexpected cold uh temperatures uh last week after we had some pretty warm temperatures thinking that it was going to get pretty warm you know getting warm quick then uh, we got hit with some sudden coldness so yeah it kind of surprised us so it kind of shocked a little bit of these uh butter beans and but these purple hole peas they're looking good yeah, these purple holes are looking good purple holes and like i said these are the butter beans uh see coloration is not the best but like i said we just got a fresh rain yesterday and i think it's going to start looking pretty good this is a potato plant and if you look carefully let's get some of this moved away from here look at that we got potatoes growing look look at that oh that's nice we'll give it a couple weeks and then we'll pick some I said purple holes my lettuce yeah and of course growing all organic so you just pick it and mm. good luck mm. this is our purple majesty potatoes more purple majesty potatoes cauliflower as you can tell this is my first year going organic and the bugs have got the best of my cauliflower so I'm probably not going to get no cauliflower this season, but I'll replant it for the fall. And this time, I'll have some lessons learned. But this is called a purple mulberry cauliflower. So it has a purple head. This is where my cabbage was. But like I said, being my first year organic, learning a lot of lessons, and my cabbage were a complete loss. But I started some sweet potatoes here. And then here's a little, another little sweet potato. Yep, yep. There you go. This is a uh, broccoli. It's coming back strong. Bugs try to get it, but but look at that. Look at that broccoli. See, the size of my hand. Broccoli. Boom. More broccoli growing in there. Broccoli. Look at it. So doing pretty good. Over here, this is radish. Our radish are almost picked out, and this is what we're starting to get. So we got a lot of the pretty radish already, and it's been a hot variety. This is a uh, carrots. These are called cosmic carrots. They're going to grow purple. This is all my radishes. Or no, no, not radish. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Chiogia beets are what these are. Chiogia beets. And if you look in here. I learned a valuable lesson. Beets grow way faster than rutabagas. So, if you look down here, that's my rutabaga that got overtaken. So, valuable lesson. Beets grow way faster than rutabaga. Your spinach just been picked, so it's a lot less. less. This is um, um, Acadia spinach. This is turnips that we also picked. We just got done picking some turnips. So you can have a little bit of turnip salad. Now like I said, been looking through here, trying to find something that's growing. See, that one's starting to get close, but not quite. This is uh, Brussels sprouts with a little, little marigold in there. These are Jackson peas. These also have been uh cold weather's been beating them up but we're supposed to warm up pretty good this week so i'm hoping that'll help this is uh snow peas more snow peas snow peas right here look how thick this is these snow peas are in here thick i got a little greedy with uh planting them too close so we're gonna have fun searching for all the peas when pea pods when they're ready this is more Jackson peas. Like I said, we there. Ooh, there's some brand new ones popping up. Look at that. 
So these originally died off because I gambled when we were having that early streak of warm weather. I planted some. It I lost the gamble. We had a three-day freeze, and uh, wow, it came out of nowhere, and it, it killed them off. So this is a new planting. This is uh, tomatoes. This is a, a species called Maribel Blanche tomatoes. They're going to be more of an oranges species. So they're just popping up. These are going to be called black cherries. They're finally popping up. Looking forward to my black cherries. These are big boy tomatoes. And these are big beef tomatoes. And these are a bunch of romas that have come up. This, this is a Georgia sweet onion. This is a Texas sweet onion. And all of these right here, these are all garlic. These are peppers. Bell peppers, bell peppers, lots of them. Okay. See? Bonnie Green Bell. And then we also have some of these Purple Beauty sweet peppers, which are this, that. Oh, oh. my goodness. Somebody got a pet. Uh, Daddy? So, yeah, these are the peppers. Gonna take. Got the trellis here, so. The tomatoes, they're indeterminate, so they will vine out. So the trellis will be here to let them vine. And then the snow peas can maybe meet them in the middle. Little detour. These are a row of sunflowers. Multiple species of sunflowers. So one thing every organic gardener needs is bugs. Good bugs, that is. Ladybugs, butterflies, bees. So all this is to help attract them. So, like I said, a long line of sunflowers just starting to pop up. And like I said, these are the thick snow peas. Tomatoes. This bed is empty. <clears throat> I, I gave extra special care for this bed. I've got some black diamond watermelon seeds my brother sent me from Texas. And uh, in North Carolina, we don't have these black diamonds that I know of. So as soon as they come up from seeds, I'm going to transplant them in this bed that I've given extra love and care to. These are tiger melons. Never grown them before, but they're, they're yellow. But they're called tiger melons. This is a cantaloupe. Uh, heirloom best jumbo so we'll try this one this is another one these are mountain sweet yellow watermelons also kind of got victimized by this little bit of coldness we've been having but when it heats up this week they're gonna love it and these are called orange crush watermelons orange crush Yep. And all these new watermelons popping up. Look at that. All right. These are called supersonic squash. As you can tell, they're kind of discolored. Uh, we, but the rain we got yesterday and this morning, plus the hot temperatures coming up, I have a feeling they're going to be coming back. So just got to got to have a little bit of tender, loving care. Yep. These are called Dixie Queen, uh, um, Dixie Queen Winter Squash. Dixie Queen Winter Squash. Growing quite well. These are poblano peppers. Poblanos. And these are habanadas. This is something I got from Gurney's. Apparently, they're going to grow and look exactly like habanero peppers, but have no heat when you eat them. And this is my last not a pina, 
that survived. And by the way it sounds, when it grows up, it's going to look just like a jalapeno, but with no burn to it. So, interesting. And I planted a marigold to go with them to kind of help keep some of those pests away that hate marigold. These peppers right here are called yellow bell hybrids. So, like I said, we just recently got these. Cucumbers. Another marigold. And these are Cherokee purple heirloom tomatoes. And as you see over there, some of our ducks, like I said, we call that free fertilizer. But love the little ducks. These are burgundy okra. Look how pretty that okra plant looks. But yeah, this is a burgundy okra. When it grows, it's going to be a red okra. And when you cook it, it's going to turn... Um, green these are your basic run-of-the-mill okra called spineless okra so yep this is more marigolds more marigolds growing but here these are called straight eight cucumbers and then if you go to the next box more straight eights and we built this tall trellis that they're going to climb on. So this trellis. And then over here we got another trellis that these over here are going to climb on. And we went ahead and also planted some deal to go with the cucumbers. So deal. Another marigold. But here's a trellis that's going to climb up. And these right here are Arminian cucumbers. Arminians. And then we got Arminians right over there. Those are Arminians. When these grow, they're going to grow anywhere between three and six feet long. Uh, six feet is like probably pushing it. The biggest I've had is like four and a half foot, but I heard they get five foot plus. So they're going to be big cucumbers. These are zucchini, more zucchini. Yep. And this trellis is not for the zucchini, it's more for the Armenians to grow over the center. And these are just regular crookneck squash. So, yeah, just regular crookneck squash. This is going to be oregano, or oregano as we say in America. And then it got a little bit of uh, thyme, German thyme. So, but th they're slow coming up. And this is going to be parsley. Parsley starting to come up. Parsley coming up over there. So, yeah, these have been coming up slow. More butter beans. These three right here are all green beans. So yeah, all green beans. And these are little some late comers to the party. So yeah, a little bit late comers to the party, but we welcome them. This is another species of parsley. It's gonna be flat leaf parsley. So, yeah, right there, more flat leaf parsley growing. This is white hybrid corn, white hybrid sweet corn. This is regular one run of the mill yellow sweet corn. This is purple hybrid. It's going to grow to be white with purple, uh, white kernels and purple kernels. So, very interesting to grow. And weird thing is, the farmer planted corn too. So, we're going to see how the pollination of that corn mixes with my corn. Well, hopefully, we'll be okay. 
this is a mess up at Gurney's. I ordered seeds and instead they sent me a tomato plant that when it came in the mail, it looked quite puny. Yeah, not good. These are honeydews. We've got six honeydews. Basil. We got more basil popping up. See all this basil. This is a dill plant. I like dill. This is an experimental spaghetti squash that I planted. I saved the seeds and planted it. And amazingly, they're popping up. So my experiment is working so far. We got more honeydews. More free fertilizer. All of our chickens. You look, yeah, we got all of our coops and like I said, all of our chickens. There's that big old mean rooster. But yeah, this is what you call free fertilizer. And of course we've got the fence over the top to keep hawks out because we've got some big pretty hawks in this area. Here's our rose garden. Like I said, we got roses. Of course, I had to have a U.S. Army birdhouse, which we have a U.S. Army one. And over here, we have a United States Marine Corps one. Guess what the bluebirds picked to uh, roost in? That's right. They went with the Marine Corps. I'm Army. So, yeah, didn't make me happy. But I'm happy to have birds. And this is another rose bu bush that's coming up. Like I said it's got some buds ready to go. So yeah. Here's the hydrangea we just planted. Yep, zu more zucchini. 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 We had a, a lot of requests for zucchini, so we're growing a lot of zucchini plants. You'll see more. Here are some uh, seedlings that we're waiting to start. These are mammoth sunflowers. They will get between 10 and 12 feet tall with a flower up to one foot across. They're sunflowers, mammoth sunflowers. And as you see, one starting to pop up right there. These are my black diamond starters. Like I said, I'm impatiently waiting to see green popping up in the center. But time will tell. This is our little kiwi tree that we're growing. Yes, kiwi in America. But, uh, yep, yeah, this is a species that will grow in our area. And it's kiwi that doesn't have all the fuzz on the front. You can just pick them and go. So in about 18 to 24 months, we should be eating off of this more plants zucchini 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 oh another tomato tomato there's a cilantro tomato and the dog broke off this tomato stem but it's got one leaf so we're going to see if it survives fresh herb rosemary Fresh herb rosemary. More potatoes. More garlic. Green onion. And then more cilantro. This is a, another row of our mammoth sunflowers. Like I said, to go, we're going to have our chickens right here. So, like I said, there's my son with a, chicken. with a chicken. And like I said, he's a little farmer boy. But uh, as you see, we have some mammoth sunflowers already growing. Look at that. So, when they're done, they should well exceed the size of this pen. blackberry oh no excuse me blueberry 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 
blueberry. A blackberry plant. Blackberry. And a blackberry. Got a uh, fig tree growing right here. Yep, it's trying to grow. And then we got another fig tree. Yep. So as you see, this is our little bit of paradise. Chickens, ducks, and a palatial garden, as I call it. And all the soil that we have and mulch that we still have to, that we got a dump truck to bring in that we still got to get out. We love it. Over and out.